Have you ever wondered why Scania, the Swedish truck giant, decided to build a V8 engine when most manufacturers were perfectly happy with inline engines? And more importantly, why they've stuck with this legendary power plant for over six decades? Well, folks, today we're diving deep into one of the most fascinating engineering stories in the trucking world. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we've got some incredible trucking content coming your way every week. Now, let's travel back to the early 1960s. Picture this. Scania's engineers are sitting around a conference table looking at their current engine lineup. They had inline 6, 8, and 11 liter engines pumping out around 250 horsepower. For the time, that was pretty impressive power. Long haul trucking was different back then. Loads were lighter, speeds were lower, and 250 horses could handle most jobs without breaking a sweat. But here's where it gets interesting. While their competitors were satisfied with the status quo, Scania's engineers had a different vision. Transportation demands were changing rapidly. Loads were getting heavier, distances longer, and drivers needed more power to maintain efficiency and meet delivery schedules. The problem was space. You see, when you want more power from an inline engine, you typically make it bigger. But bigger engines take up more room in the engine bay, and truck manufacturers were already pushing the limits of cab design. The inline engines were becoming massive, and there simply wasn't enough real estate under the hood for the kind of power they envisioned. So, in 1962, Scania's engineering team made a decision that would define their brand for generations to come. Instead of making their inline engines even larger, they decided to go with a completely different approach, a 90-degree V8 configuration. Now, you might be thinking, why 90 degrees? Well, this wasn't a random choice. The 90-degree angle provided the perfect balance between compactness and smooth operation. It allowed them to pack serious displacement, 14.2 liters, into a much smaller footprint than an equivalent inline engine would require. The first truck to receive this revolutionary power plant was the LB140, and let me tell you, it made quite an impression. This wasn't just about raw power, though the 350 horsepower output was certainly impressive for its time. What really set this engine apart was its torque characteristics. The V8 delivered its power in a way that encouraged drivers to use lower engine speeds, which meant better fuel economy and longer engine life. But there was something else that made this engine special, something that couldn't be measured in horsepower or torque figures. It was the sound. That distinctive V8 rumble became the calling card of Scania trucks. Drivers could identify a Scania from blocks away just by listening to that characteristic exhaust note. The success was immediate and overwhelming. Transport companies loved the combination of power, efficiency, and reliability. Drivers loved the sound and the smooth power delivery. And Scania? Well, they had found their signature. Over the years, Scania manufactured more than 170,000 of these 14-liter V8 engines. Think about that number for a moment. 170,000 engines in the high output segment. That made it the best-selling engine in its class by a massive margin. Clearly, they had struck gold. But success brings its own challenges. By 1995, when Scania was developing their four series trucks, the engineering team faced a crucial decision. The company had developed a modular engine system that offered significant advantages in terms of manufacturing efficiency 
and parts commonality. Some engineers argued that they should abandon the V8 and focus entirely on inline engines that would integrate better with this modular approach. Fortunately for truck enthusiasts everywhere, the brand identity advocates won. Scania recognized that the V8 wasn't just a product. It was what differentiated them from every other manufacturer in the market. But keeping the V8 alive meant continuous development. As emission regulations became stricter throughout the 1990s and early 2000s, Scania's engineers faced new challenges. They experimented with different approaches, including a narrower, 72-degree V8 design. Instead of compromising, Scania made another bold decision. They would develop a completely new V8 from the ground up. This wasn't just an evolution of the original 14-liter engine. It was a revolution. In 2000, the new 16-liter V8 made its debut, and it was a monster. This wasn't just about bigger numbers, though. The new engine incorporated decades of technological advancement while maintaining the character that made the original so beloved. The development didn't stop there. By 2005, Scania offered their broadest range of V8 engines ever, with options producing 500, 560, and 620 horsepower. In 2010, Scania took another major developmental leap. They increased the displacement from 15.6 to 16.4 liters and introduced a completely new cylinder block that was both lighter and stronger than its predecessor. But the real headline grabber was the introduction of the world's most powerful truck engine at that time a 730 horsepower beast with 3,500 newton meters of torque. The R730 became an instant legend. This wasn't just a truck, it was a statement. It proved that Scania wasn't just committed to keeping the V8 alive. They were determined to push it to new heights. But power isn't everything in today's world. Environmental concerns were becoming increasingly important, and Scania responded by developing engines capable of running on biodiesel, also known as HVO. Since 2015, every Scania F8 has been capable of running on this renewable fuel, proving that performance and environmental responsibility don't have to be mutually exclusive. The innovation continued with the 2016 model year, when Scania introduced an all-new V8 for their next-generation trucks, designed to handle even higher pressures in the future. Today's Scania V8 lineup offers outputs ranging from 530 to 770 horsepower, with the top model producing an incredible 3,700 newton meters of torque. To put that in perspective, that's enough torque to accelerate a fully loaded 80,000 pound truck up a steep grade without breaking a sweat. But here's the question everyone's asking. Will the V8 survive in an era of increasingly strict emission regulations and the push toward electrification? The V8's future lies in its unique ability to handle the heaviest transport applications. When you need to move massive loads, think heavy machinery, construction equipment, or oversized cargo, the V8's power and torque characteristics allow you to do the job with fewer trucks. Fewer trucks mean lower overall fuel consumption and emissions, even if each individual truck uses more fuel. It's a fascinating paradox. In an era where everyone's talking about downsizing and efficiency, sometimes the most efficient solution is actually the most powerful one. There's also the human element to consider. Truck drivers spend hundreds of hours behind the wheel every month. 
The V8's smooth power delivery, distinctive sound, and effortless performance make those long hours more bearable. Happy drivers are more productive drivers and productive drivers are more profitable for fleet operators. Scania continues to invest heavily in V8 development, making each generation lighter and more fuel efficient than the last. They're also exploring new technologies like waste heat recovery and advanced turbocharging systems that could unlock even more efficiency from the V8 platform. The brand loyalty factor can't be ignored either. There are trucking companies that have been running Scania V8s for decades, and they're not about to switch to something else just because it might save a few cents per mile. The V8 has proven itself in the real world, day after day, year after year. So there you have it, folks. Scania built the V8 because they had the vision to see that trucking was changing and the courage to pursue a different path. They've kept it alive for over 60 years because it continues to serve a unique purpose in the market, delivering uncompromising power for the most demanding applications while maintaining the character that makes driving a truck something special rather than just a job. The V8 isn't just surviving in today's market, it's thriving. And as long as there are heavy loads to move and drivers who appreciate the finer things in trucking life, the legendary Scania V8 will continue to rumble down highways around the world. Don't forget to subscribe for more incredible trucking stories and let us know in the comments what you think about the future of high-performance truck engines. As the great automotive journalist once said, power corrupts, but absolute power is absolutely delightful. The Scania 5th 8 proves that sometimes more really is more.